Good morning, everyone. It is uh, 5.10 in the morning. Today's topic is uh, waxworms eat plastic. Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosomes bathe the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum of receptors, radiation, are mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? So, uh, what are waxworms? Waxworms are caterpillars, actually, uh, but we call them waxworms because they eat a lot of wax. Um, and so, I guess uh, a scientist, not in a lab doing an experiment or anything, uh, they had uh, they were amateur beekeepers, and they had a beehive at home uh, cleaning out their beehive. They found an infestation of these waxworms, these caterpillars that are, eat wax. And, uh, you know, bees have, in their hives, they have, they use wax and whatnot. So, um, these uh, caterpillars, these waxworms, so they cleaned out the, the waxworms from their hives, and they put it all in a plastic bag, a general plastic grocery bag. Uh, and took them to go toss them or something. Later on, they looked at the bag and all the wax worms are gone and there were holes in these bags. Uh, and they thought, well, okay, that's strange. Never seen that before. So they real quick, uh, I guess they found some more wax worms, um, took the wax worms to the lab and did the whole thing again, gave them some plastic to see, uh, did they just bite holes in it or did they actually eat and digest the, the plastic? And lo and behold, they found out the, the wax worms actually ate and digested the plastic, um, which is uh, good news because now, uh, so you might be thinking, well, okay, let's just take a bunch of wax worms, take a bunch of these caterpillars and, and unleash them, let them loose on all the plastic bags, uh, specifically polyethylene, um, which I guess is what we use for the thin plastic bags. Uh, there's something else that I read that, that they use polyethylene for, and I can't recall. Um, but normally, these plastic bags take about, they were saying, take a hundred years to biodegrade. And if they're the thicker plastic bags, uh, thicker polyethylene takes 400 years. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, I'm sure you've heard a lot of people have been, been worried about the fact that we, use these, we have these disposable plastic bags. They're all over the place and we just toss them, we put them in landfills and, you know, the big worry is, oh, it's going to take forever to biodegrade. But now that we have these wax worms, these caterpillars that eat wax, and now we know they eat polyethylene, um, which... So I guess the structure of polyethylene, the chemical structure of polyethylene is very similar to the structure of wax, which is why they, you know, they, uh, these wax worms cross over so easily. Uh, but now that they have this, so if, if they were to use the wax worms, it would take, what's the figure? They said a hundred wax worms could eat 96 milligrams, um, in 12 hours, <laughs> uh, which isn't very much, and it's a super long time. Um, so effectively, one wax worm could eat one milligram, a milligram, you know, very, very tiny feet, in 12 hours. That's not very cost effective. That's not very time efficient. Um, and where are you going to find all those wax worms and, and then unleash them on the, on, on what? Um, they don't, they don't, um, like polyethylene and so it's not their choice of food uh, so they're not going to go seek it out and digest it um, so instead what they want to do is figure out if it's a if it's an enzyme is it a chemical that uh, the wax worms excrete or uh, something you know find that extract it uh, if it is an enzyme or chemical if they can get bacteria to produce it so this will involve some kind of DNA genetic engineering uh, and then grow the substance uh, with bacteria or whatever at a rapid rate and then I guess spray the substance or something I, I don't know we haven't thought that far yet but if there is a substance that breaks down polyethylene faster than the hundred years it takes about a grade well then there you go um, 
they they did find out that the waxworms eat and digest the polyethylene and break it down into a another substance that I forget the name of that is um, biodegradable. I think the, the word they use is biodegradable. So there you have it. There uh, poly a solution to our plastic bag problem in landfills. Maybe um, we got more testing to do. But, you know, uh, it's fun and strange how uh, a solution to one of our plastic problems, right in nature, uh, found accidentally, uh, thanks to bees. Another, <laughs> another reason why bees are so important uh, in a roundabout way. So, all right, I got to head off to work. You got to go do whatever it is you do. Hopefully not eating polyethylene. Don't eat those plastic bags. They're not, they're not good for humans. Um, yeah, we'll talk to you next time.